So the next time you get your hair colored, you need to make sure of something. Let me explain. There are over 5,000 or more chemicals that are put on our skin on a regular basis, from lotions to uh, women using makeup to all sorts of things. Our, the surface of our skin is like a sponge. It's a fat layer and they use certain oils and you put it on your skin and it goes right in like a rocket ship. And it has a cumulative effect. It builds up over time. Um, for hair dyes, you have ammonia, parabens, uh, PPDs, which is a toxic chemical, toluene, and formaldehyde, okay, which is going to completely dry, dry out your skin. So these chemicals can go in the body and they can build up all in the name of looking beautiful, right? These can have an effect of increasing the risk of certain types of cancer, follicular lymphoma, chronic lymphocytic leukemia, and other types of cancer. So the next time you go to your hairdresser, make sure they use something that is organic, that is a lot less toxic, okay? There's all sorts of natural versions of this. I'm gonna put some links down below. And if he or she is not using this, I would highly encourage them to use this and show them this video. Now, the other question on the flip side is like, what's going on with graying hair? Why are we losing the color of our hair? Well, what's happening as we age, we lose certain antioxidants in our body. And then we have an excess of oxidants and one being hydrogen peroxide. And that's kind of like a bleach. It's going to bleach out the color pigment of your hair and leave it a lighter color. There are some things that you can take potentially to improve the situation. It's not 100%. It's, I'm not even saying it's going to be 50%, maybe 40% effective. Um, because not everyone responds to this. But here's a list of things that you may want to consider. Uh, catalase is an enzyme to help break down hydrogen peroxide. You can get this as a supplement. It works for some people. Uh, glutathione is a real, a master antioxidant that our body makes, and you can also take it as well externally to help reduce hydrogen peroxide. And selenium, which is very, very important, it by itself is an antioxidant. And coconut oil, you can rub that into the pores or your, your hair, and it actually can greatly help as well. And the last point I want to bring up is that this doesn't just go for your hair dyes. It goes for your makeup, your lotions, and the other things that you put on the surface of your skin. So uh, look at the ingredients. Um, find some brand that is a lot less toxic because it does accumulate in your body. All right, I'll talk to you soon.